I was two points away from failing eighth grade, but I learned these five tips that helped me from go from almost failing to now I'm pretty much a straight A student. I was sitting down one day on the couch and I was home alone. I was watching my dog and I see a text and I receive, it's from my mom. And so obviously I'm getting scared because usually when she sends a long ass paragraph, I'm in trouble. So my heart's like racing, my heart's pounding. I'm thinking like, oh, what what did she what did she find out, bro? What did she find out? So that's the, that's my immediately that's my immediate thought process. I'm I'm starting to think, you know, what happened? Is something is, is something wrong? Am I in trouble? Is everything okay? So of course I click on it, and there's a link. And at first I get scared because like, what, what did she find my search history? What what did she find? And um, I click on it. And it's my grades. It's my grades. I have a 68 in math. I, I somehow still got into um, math the next like level up in math the next year, even though I had a 68. But I think it's because the final grades were already were already put in before those final grades were sent out. And she's I was so like scared, and you know I was disappointing my parents. And if you want to have enough time to do things that you want to do, you're going to need to. Kind of please your parents so honestly just quick little tip if you want to you know have time to do work and you want to have time to do stuff wake up before school do it and then do all your schoolwork in school also if you don't know me my name is bryce osborne i'm 15 i'm from the united states and i help young men like us on their journey so let's go ahead and get started so like i just said work in school get all your schoolwork done in school during lunch like be, be one of those weird kids bro who cares you're already weird if you're watching a video like this. You're out of the normal by definition. You are weird. You're a young man. You want to improve yourself and everyone else, all your other like friends, they're out playing video games and here you are watching a self-improvement video. Props to you. Good job. You are out of the normal. You already set yourself up for a successful life. So props to you. So first off, why not just be a little bit weirder and bring that Chromebook to lunch and then you can, you know, you can do all your like work. If you have a free, I know lots of people have like a study hall where they do a lot of stuff. And I know lots of people just go in there and they'll sit down and just play on their phone. But if you have extra time in class, you have any extra time you have in school, get that homework done, get whatever class work you need done, done in school. So you don't have to do it when you get back. So you have more time to work on your business. You have more time to focus on yourself physically. You need to start accepting school for what it is. So what this means is you just need to accept it. There's no getting out of school. Don't try and ask your parents. I tried this, I tried to get, or I tried to get them to make me drop out of school. I tried to um, go in online school. I tried to do homeschooling. I tried it all just to physically get out of the building because I hate waking up. I hate having to go to like a place I don't want to go to. That's why I can't imagine working a nine to five because I'm sure you, if you hate school, bro, you're gonna hate a job, but you're gonna like it a little bit more because you're just getting that tiny little pay, pay you know, like $10 an hour paycheck. So honestly, a job isn't any different from school. And you're gonna need to start accepting that you're in school. You just need to, you know, get through it. So for me, after my sophomore year, which I'm going into next year, I'll have like two more years and I'm done. So I just need to get this done with. I just need to lock in and focus. And you also need to start, you need to have some sort of security because honestly, if you're just bullshitting yourself and telling yourself you're gonna do something, you don't do any work and you tell yourself, if you're like one of those people who say, um, say to your parents, Oh, um, school's not good, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to become an entrepreneur. And you keep telling your parents you're going to be an entrepreneur, but you're not doing anything. You're just sitting in your room watching self-improvement videos like this one. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'd click off this video right now and start working on your business. If you're one of those people, unless you have this inside your calendar time for learning time. And then honestly, I'd probably take like 30 minutes to study a day. I'd probably either do it after school or the day before an exam that's what i do i literally don't study except days before an exam because i'm able to like quickly remember all that i don't know about you but literally that's all i need i just need like 30 minutes to like a book it and then i'm good and then i'll be able to remember it all and that's literally how i pass my classes so you want to trial and error with certain study strategies and see which ones work for you so for me like i just mentioned like book it's and like kind of gamified things work for me and plus it's schoolwork. like i'm not gonna lie bro like i if i can do a productive thing in a game way i'm gonna fucking do it bro i'm a teenage boy bro of course i'm gonna try and enjoy life a little bit it's not probably the best thing but like who wants to sit down and you know fucking read over a paper 15 times to try and memorize uh y equals mx plus b like i'm not doing that i'd rather do a book it or something and you're going to want to prioritize the most important task so if you have a 
let's say you have a missing essay. You're not gonna sit there and you're not gonna finish your warm ups that are missing. That's a formative grade and it's only like 10% while you're missing essays, 75% of your grade. You're gonna wanna do that essay, stop procrastinating the hard thing. There's a phrase called eat the frog. It's where you do the hard thing first. So would you rather eat a frog before or after your favorite meal? If you said after, that tells me a lot about you and I'd honestly recommend you just click off this video now. If you said before, you're going to make it big in life. So props to you if you said before. But this is the reason you don't have straight A's in school. Like, ask any straight A student and they will always at least, bro, at least say they study for 30 minutes a day. Every A straight A student doesn't at least do that. If you really just want to pass your classes and get through it, do all your work in school. But if you want to go that extra mile to become straight A, you need to study outside of school. And this is all pretty much basic knowledge, but it needs to be reinforced in your tiny little brain that it's just basic stuff. The basic stuff is going to get you further in life. If you take a look at what any straight A student is doing, if you have like a straight A friend, I guarantee you almost everything I mentioned today will be on that list. If they like if you ask, go and find like one of your smart, smart friends who is in all like AP and honors classes, ask them like, hey, what do you do to like have high grades? I'm sure one of them will be like autistic and just be able to have a photographic memory. I have a friend like that, you autistic. Um, that's all, that's all y'all gotta do. Um, if you want to repay me for the knowledge I've given you, just scroll down and share this video to as many friends and group chats as possible. Um, I want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Um, subscribe if you want to. Um, join my Discord community in the description. Um, thank you for watching, bro.